Welcome back. Let's play Mega Man 2. Heatman's level is pretty hard if you don't have the item number 2. I call them the rush items just because they're red and Rush the dog is red. The dog doesn't actually appear until Mega Man 3, but anyway. Because number 2 is the jet that flies you straight across, so... Anyway, let's move on here. Hey, these are the same guys from Crash Man's level. We should be safe as long as we don't end up in the lava. Yeah, definitely need either Air Man's or Metal Man's weapon. That will help a lot. I hate Man's weak against bubble, bubble, so it's nice to have that as well. So this isn't the level you want to do first. Oh, shit. The nice thing about this is that if you're blinking, like I was blinking because I just took damage, which means that I don't get insta-killed by the lava. So I got lucky there, and there. Careful. Yeah, you shouldn't need any tools here. Oops. There we go. That thing's gonna hit me for sure. Oh, maybe not. I got lucky. Jumping block puzzle. This is just like Iceman stage. Only the puzzles are pretty easy. Oops. It knocked me to the side. Ah, oh, it keeps pushing me over. There we go. Sweet. Sure, why not? Let's use a toss a bomb on that. You don't really need to do that, of course, but I don't know, just for fun. Oops, I meant to grab this one. Okay, that one was pointless for sure. <laughs> anyway. And this is where the giant block jumping section comes. I like to save that until... Well, not use it at the very beginning anyway, because the lava section is the only important part. You can get the one up if you're jump jumping along the blocks normally, but you can't get it from the jet, because you're going to run out of energy if you try to jump off and use it again. But. Oh well, I've missed lots of one-ups already. Not a big deal. I can farm some if I really get desperate. Having the ladder helps here. Because jumping between the three shocks is a little tricky. But we're, we're basically done now, so... I'm surprised I don't have one of those, another one of those jumping guys here. That's okay. At least... At least this guy's easier than um, Fire Man from Mega Man 1. I find him much easier. His pattern is more, I don't know, more easier to predict anyway. Still a lot easy, and he's missable when he's burning, but... Plus, if you hit him right away, he doesn't shoot those flame towers. Shit. Shit. One more hit and he was would he be down. He, he loses four health for every bubble, and each bubble costs half an energy, so... <sighs> I was just being too careless. Let's try that again. There we go. Now we got him. Got him. That one's much better. Much better. What can I say? I'm not perfect. Heatman's weapon is not all that useful. Honestly, it's, it's okay. It's, it, it kills Woodman, 
but then so do the Metal Blades. And it's good against one of the bosses in Dr. Wily's stage. No, we have item number one now, which is actually the most useful. That creates a helicopter-powered platform. You can have three on the screen at once. It'll be highly useful for Dr. Wily's castle. Uh, password if you want it. That's the... It's basically a kite with... The kite it, section with the four in the middle is the main section, and then the one at the bottom right and the bottom left are kind of so are for the number of lives and energy tanks you have. I think I could be wrong. Whatever. You can look up on the internet for passwords and stuff. Here we go. I'm ready. One of my favorite Dr. Wily castles of all time. And we have a map, unlike the first game. That's nice. Of course, <laughs> this is also one of the best Mega Man songs in the library, but I'm going to end it here, so catch you next time.